what do you mean by a recovery technique while you are carrying out a transaction sometimes a failure can happen when a failure happens how you are going to take the database to the previous consistent state so for recovery we learned some uh, types of techniques that is deferred update do you remember this deferred update technique deferred update and then we talked about immediate update immediate update and in deferred update we looked at one particular concept what is that no undo and redo in immediate update we looked at this particular concept undo and redo so please refresh all these things and it's very important recovery techniques and we also looked at redo logs the use of redo logs in your oracle database or in any database so in today's class we'll be looking at shadow paging this is also a recovery technique another recovery technique we are going to take a look at that is shadow paging so instead of going into the theory i have got some animations for you you can directly look at the animations and understand what is shadow paging it's a very simple concept uh, and uh, we'll start off with uh, an hard disk first so consider this to be your hard disk and on the hard disk you have the data stored right so how is data stored on the hard disk it's stored in blocks i told you the size of the block may vary let's take the size of a block to be 8 kilobytes so then all the data in your hard disk in terms of blocks so i'm just given here some sample blocks say block number 1 block number 2 block number 3 block number 4 and i have also given some sample records inside the blocks a block can hold many records it again depends on the size of the records so you see here this is for account a 500 rupees and this is in another block account b has got 100 rupees likewise c has got 1000 rupees in block number 2 d has got 300 rupees in block number 1 so what i am trying to tell you is we have an hard disk on the hard disk certain blocks and on the block certain records now in shadow paging what is the first step is uh, on the ram on the main memory a directory is getting created so what is a directory it contains the block numbers and a pointer to every block so you consider a, your hard disk to be made up of lot of blocks so from the directory you should have a pointer to every block in your disk so from block so for block number 1 the pointer will be to exactly where that block is on the disk it's a pointer it's pointing to the address of the block so like likewise for uh, block number 2 you'll have a pointer to that particular block on the hard disk block number 3 a pointer block number 4 a pointer so this becomes the current directory what is a directory it has pointers to all the blocks in the hard disk so where is that particular block stored on my hard disk the address is there so before starting any transaction in shadow paging what they say is you create a copy of that directory so let me create a copy of this directory a copy of this directory is created on the main memory and uh, you again have the block numbers and again pointers to the block so from the shadow copy i mean from this copy you have pointers so block number 1 2 3 4 so this is nothing but a copy of the current directory you call that to be shadow directory or shadow copy this is called shadow copy so before start of a transaction a shadow copy should be created say so after you create the shadow directory the another important step is you have to move that shadow copy to your hard disk make it persistent it's very important we are in recovery right so from the main memory we are going to write the copy of the shadow directory also to the disk next what we are going to do is we are going to start this transaction this transaction will transfer 100 rupees from a to b so what is that we are going to do we are going to transfer block a to main memory and then the transaction will modify block a so it will reduce 100 rupees there so you can see now 500 gets reduced to 400 after the change has happened what we have to do is we have to just write that back to your hard disk now when it is writing it back it's not going to write it back exactly on the same location it will write it to a different location see this is the old file this is the new file 
you got it and also the current directory the pointer is now pointing to the modified file whereas the shadow directory is still pointing to the old page that is the concept so we have finished one step what is the next step we have to add under rupees to b so we have to move this b to your main memory and then we have to add under it so it now goes to 200 rupees and now when it writes back it will not write it on the old page it will write it on the newer location an unused location is going to write and then what should happen the current directory should be pointing to this particular modified page the pointers for the current directory are now pointing to the modified uh, blocks on a new location so our transaction then issues a commit we are done right our transaction now issues a commit so once when the transaction is complete what is the next step is the shadow directory will be discarded because we have a successful transaction here so the shadow directory will be discarded so what is that we are going to have only the current directory and whatever uh, uh, pages that are not being pointed by the current directory will be deallocated so what are the pages not pointed by the current directory the old pages a and b or the old blocks a and b so that will be deallocated for some other purpose for some other allocation so now you have the current directory pointing to a set of blocks after the transaction completes and this becomes your stable state of your database this is for a successful transaction okay so what we have to look at at uh, this point is did we achieve consistency before the start of this transaction what is the total amount in all the blocks what is that 500 plus 100 600 1600 plus 300 1900 after the transaction completed you have to add everything 400 plus 200 600 1600 plus 300 1900 so we have achieved a stable state here so we have used a shadow directory and we have to see how this shadow copy helps us when a transaction fails so we'll see how this one works so let's go and repeat again for a trans failed transaction our shadow directory helps us so we'll just go back again we'll uh, you know we have all these pointers and a shadow directory is created everything is ready this shadow directory is returned to your hard disk before start of the transaction now let us again start the transaction that is it's going to transfer 100 rupees from a to b so in that case it will move it to the block the block will be moved to the buffer in the main memory 500 will be changed to 400 this block will be returned to a new location and then the current directory will be pointing to the new block modified block after this we are moving this block for 3 to the main memory and then we are adding 200 to this now this should be returned to your hard disk the transaction is now changing the buffer at this point transaction fails so what we should do we should roll all the changes back we should go back to the previous consistent state we should discard all the modified pages so what we are trying to do here rest it's very simple the steps taken here for recovery is it'll just discard the current directory and it will just reinstate the shadow copy the shadow copy will be pointing only to the old pages and anything that is not being pointed by the shadow directory will be deallocated for further allocation for a new process so now what happens is immediately you are bringing the database back to the previous consistent state so what is the sum of all the values here it will be 1900 and nothing to change nothing to undo or nothing to redo just like that discard the current directory bring the shadow directory so this technique is called no undo no redo in recovery see there is one important thing before even the transaction starts we have to write the shadow directory to the disk why because when your instance crashes you lose everything on the ram right so you want to bring the database back to the stable state from the hard disk you have to move your directory to your main memory and make it the current directory so that's all about recovery techniques i hope uh, <laughs> i have done some justice to recovery and uh, what are the steps in shadow paging 
I just put shadow paging in my own words here. That is, construct a directory with every entry in the directory pointing to a database block. That is step one. You construct a directory. Create a shadow copy of the directory. That is step two. What is step three? Transaction should modify only pages pointed by the current directory. And write it to a new location on the disk. That is step three. So you modify the pages, write it to a new location. And if transaction commits, discard the shadow directory and the old pages. You delegate it. If the transaction fails, discard the current directory and take. you have to reinstate the shadow copy. That's it. This is called shadow paging. 